Okay, uh, let's look at the section 8.6. This section talks about uh, integers uh, modulo n. Right, integer modulo n is simply is a collection of uh, equivalence classes for uh, um, equivalence relation um, uh, congruence uh, mod n. So we're talking about uh, you know congruence here and mod n. And we verify that, that this is equivalence relation, and um, it's going to create uh, equivalence classes, right? So integer mod n. So you have, uh, of course, you have uh, equivalence class represented by zero, right? You, these number I, I tend to use the um, um, uh, all possible. Uh, remainders uh, divide when you divide by n so it's n through n minus 1 and uh, so equivalence class represented by 1 and equivalence class represented by 2 and all the way to equivalence class represented by n minus 1 all right so for example if you if you have uh, z mod three, right? Z mod three is going to have three elements, so equivalence class represented by zero, equivalence class represented by one, and equivalence class represented by two, right? That's it. Then you can see that uh, equivalence class represented by zero, it just simply all multiple of three. So you have three, say, uh, k, where uh, k is uh, any integer, right? Um, the equivalence class represented by one is any number, if you divide by three, you're gonna have uh, remainder one. So it's gonna be any uh, integer of the form three k plus one where k is any integer, right? And the equivalence class represented by two is any number. When you divide by three, you're gonna get a remainder two. Right, so we have that, right? Then um, we can define uh, operations, uh, especially uh, addition and the multiplication on z mod n. Right? Here is the definition. When you add two equivalence classes represented by A and represented by B, then the sum of these equivalence class is going to be another equivalent class, uh, equivalence class represented by A plus B. Right? Multiplication is defined the same way. If you multiply equivalence class represented by A and equivalence class represented by B, then the result is it's equivalence class represented by A times B. All right, so let's do a, a simple example here. All right, so in uh, Z mod 8, all right, we want to do this uh, addition. So equivalence class represented by negative 13 plus equivalence class represented by 138, right? So uh, let's, so this is a division. So uh, negative 13, right? I'm going to divide this by 8, right? So it's going to be negative 2 will give you negative 16. So if you subtract that, remainder is going to be 3, right? So negative 13 is 8 times, so maybe I should write it. Negative 13 is same thing as 8 times negative 2 plus 3, right? So remainder, since remainder is 3, um, equivalence class represented by negative 13 is actually same thing as equivalence class represented by 3, right? Plus, right, we can do 138 divided by 8, right? 1, 8, then that's a 58. 8 times 7, 
56, the remainder is 2. So uh, equivalence class represented by 138 is actually the same thing as equivalence class represented by 2. So we can just carry out the addition, so which is going to be 3 plus 2 is 5. Right? This is the same deal, it's just a multiplication. So this is equivalent, same thing as equivalence class represented by 3 times equivalence class represented by 2. Right? This is equal to equivalence class uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Right? Right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.